The civil rights movement in the late 50s and the early 60s is a history painted on the human canvas of courage. As retail stores that opened their doors to the public, Woolworth, W.T. Grant, Coin Brothers, and other downtown stores in Jacksonville, Florida, and throughout the country would accept your money at one counter, but would deny you service at another. Their white lunch counters were visible vestiges of segregation and were an open daily reminder of the obscene and insulting treatment of blacks. Mr. Rutledge Henry Pearson, an American history school teacher and the advisor to the Jacksonville, Florida Youth Council, NAACP, imparted one basic philosophy to his students and youth council members. Freedom is not free. If it is worth having, it is worth making a sacrifice and fighting the good fight. Disregarding physical peril, members of the Jacksonville Youth Council NAACP made the decision to confront the city's segregated policies and its accompanying Jim Crow laws. They simply said, enough is enough. It was never about a hot dog and a Coke, recounts the 1960 sit-in demonstrations, which sought to protest segregation peacefully and Jacksonville's response of vicious violence. More than 200 whites with axe handles and baseball bats attacked the demonstrators in yet another chapter of the historical testimony of how some preferred to handle the racial situation in Jacksonville. The press called it Axe Handle Saturday. Blacks in the 50s and early 60s were not free. They endured racism, discrimination, pain, and suffering in the fight for civil rights. Yet, they fought on the courage of their convictions, knowing God was on their side. They endeavored to leave a legacy and heritage of which we can all be proud. We have an obligation to today's generation to tell our story. Regardless of what you have seen or heard about sit-in demonstrations, it was never about eating a hot dog and drinking a Coke. It was always about human dignity and respect. The struggle continued.